I'm Dr. Shortcut with a tale about factoring, happy math, and abundant numbers. Here's a common middle school math problem. What are the factors of 12? Pretty boring, right? Most kids solve this in a tedious way. They start with the smallest number, 1, because it's a factor of every number. Then they work their way, their way up. Let's see, 2 goes into 12. 3 goes into 12. Let's see, yeah, 4 goes into 12. And then they try 5, and this is where it breaks my heart. So they go 5, no, 5 doesn't go into 12. 6, oh yeah, 6 works. 7, no, 8, no, 9, no, 10, nah, 11, no, oh yeah, 12. 12 is a factor of itself. It breaks my heart because there's a really fun way to solve this problem using happy math. Factors always come in pairs. So we're going to make a smile. We'll put the number 12 at the top of the smile. And then we'll think about what factor pairs make 12. Well, 1 times 12 makes 12, so I'll put 1 on the left and 12 on the right. Let's see, 2 times 6 makes 12, so I'll put 2 down and I'll put 6 on it the opposite side. And then 3 times 4 makes 12, so I'll write the 3 and then I'll write the 4. And then we know we're done because the next number we want to try is greater than the factor I already have. So 5 is greater than 4, so we know it's not a factor. So you don't have to think about 5, 7, or 8. You already know they're not factors. So what does this have to do with abundance? A number is abundant when the sum of its factors, excluding itself, is greater than the number. So add up all the factors of 12, excluding 12. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6. And that equals 16. 16 is greater than 12, so 12 is abundant. It's the first abundant number. Many measurement numbers are abundant. Let's try 14. Fourteen was one times fourteen, and two times seven. Three doesn't go, four doesn't go, five doesn't go, six doesn't go, and we already have seven, so we know we're done. And let's add it up. One plus two plus seven equals ten. Ten is less than fourteen. Fourteen's not an abundant number. We'll try fifteen. Make that smile. This is happy math. 15. 1 times 15 works. 2 doesn't go. 3 times 5 works. 4 is not a factor of 15, and we've already got 5, so we know we're already done. 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals 9. That's less than 15, so 15 is not abundant. Try happy math to find the next few abundant numbers. Here's a hint. There are 21 abundant numbers less than 100. You should become an expert at happy math if you find them all.